Moving on now to the next bout of the show. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome firstly into the black corner, representing Jacob Hong Jim, Laura Jondowski. Raise the roof and welcoming into the ring her opponent this evening. Fighting out of the white corner and representing Nemesis Jim Phoebe Eel. Another girl matchup here as the females really take the stage well tonight here at CFS. The entrance of Phoebe Hillot. Lara Drondolski from the Jacobon Gym awaits in the corner. Good support from Hillot. And Michael Teke will bless the ropes and enter this nemesis Phoebe female warrior to the CFS stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for five one and a half minute rounds and will be contested under C-class Muay Thai rules in the 55 kilogram division. Over to your referee. <laughs> 55 kilogram C-class Muay Thai matchup. And uh, as you heard, this will be the first of five one and a half minute rounds. Later on in the show to everyone watching back home, WBC, a national title on the line, ISKA, intercontinental title on the line, and the WBC, a European Muay Thai title female on the line as well. Round one. We are still on a fantastic undercard here at York Hall, London. Body shots and head shots. As the girls take a good position in the clinch here. Good scoring knees from both competitors. Transitions well from her hands to the leg and the push kicks well timed. Good, accurate punches from Illert. Catches the kick, punches, sends her down. Trying to push kick with the rear leg. Illert can see that coming because it's a tee up. I always find the push kick's more effective with the lead leg. Now she switches stance into southpaw. But it looks calm, relaxed, lets her hands go, scores on the body. A little out of range for those sort of axe kicks. Again, well timed on the push kick. Using it as a really good defense to Keep this opponent away. Just watch her trying to close the distance and she catches that kick there and sends it to the ground. 
She's waiting for um, Drondowski to be first all the time. She's waiting for her to step in and shoot first. And on the counter, she's executing really well-controlled moves. Michael Teki in the corner, giving instructions. Again, two experienced gyms take the combat fight series stage. Seconds out, round two. And this will be the second of five. Goes dangerously high with that kick. Good push kick on the lead leg, but it doesn't stop Illet coming forward. Strong hands. It looks very light on her legs, though. Very nimble. Easily moves in and out of trouble. Oh, good left hand there. Trondowski. Just leaning out of trouble from those kicks. Landing kicks well, Drondowski here. Not really getting a shin onto that though, just the foot moving up. Good positions in the clinch as she goes down low, but a little bit too close to execute the point of the knee. Makes a miss, makes a pay on that occasion. Oh, there was a spinning back half arm, half elbow there. A bit around from uh, Drondowski. Third round. Looks in control, Illa, but Trondowski was scoring shots there. Good push kick goes up high to the face there. Oi. Nice kick. Good kicker, isn't she? Oh, right hand sends her down. She's off balance. Nemesis Jim and Jacopom Jim, corner to corner. Oi. Needs to keep her right hand up, though. She's well controlled with those kicks, isn't she? Controls her opponent. Yeah, Phoebe's got a nice kicking style, isn't she? Yeah, nice step and left kick now from Drondowski. Again, when she switches, she's got power of her kicks. Ooh. But it's just the, that height of Illa, she just steps forward and gets shin across body, doesn't she? Yep. Good hand exchange as well. Moves nice and freely round that ring, back to the centre. And now they exchange punches at the end of the round and a good knee from Drondowski, but I just feel like Illet controls her a little bit in there with those kicks. Although she is aggressive, the Jacopon girl. They're well-competed rounds, right? Yeah, it's good. It's nice and, uh, like you say, well-contested here between the two of them, but 
It's going to be interesting to see who's picking up the better points in the eyes of the judges. Yeah, it looks like it's a bit of a slip, that one. Gloria Brand is a young front toe skate. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Time. Nice shot to finish that one. Main man in the nemesis corner there. Seconds out. Yep, Round the four. Always has a good stable of fighters. Puts his heart and soul into him, as I'm sure. Most trainers do here tonight. This is another well school girl we're seeing here, in Phoebe Illa. That left hand is good, nice and accurate punches. One thing, Laura, as she comes back, she drops her right hand a little bit. I'm just worried about the, the left kick to the head. Look how she's jogging on the spot, Illa. She's very light on her feet, isn't she? She she's certainly in and is. Out of trouble. Yeah. And she always finishes her combinations with a nice solid body kick. Yeah. That's an impression on the Ooh. judges' card, isn't it? Yeah. Always answers, always returns. That push kick goes up to the stomach. So again, just lightly bouncing around that ring, in and out. She's finding it hard for Drondowski to pin her down and strike. Yeah. Good knees there from Drondowski. That's better. Oi, and that again, was good. Always good. A good position there. Yeah, always good clinches at Jacobong. Oi, lovely. That's Oi. heavy. Heavy nice. right knee. Well, I'll tell you what, start of the round was definitely in, in Illets with those long control, but those knees will give the judges something to think about, won't they? Certainly will. And then it comes down to how, how long in the round are you spending in the clinch with those knees scoring effectively and how long are you on the outside kicking and that's when we're going to have a, a well-contested bout. Yeah, there you see the punches trying to double up. Just trying to get close. Good kick scored there, but she was taken down. That's what I like. She turns her hip over nice in that left kick, doesn't she? Oh, puts her hip through the right cross and then through the kick as well, doesn't she? Clinched well at the end of the round, didn't she, uh, Drondowski? Do you think Jack would be telling her to clinch more like that? I would. <laughs> yeah. I definitely would. On the outside with the kick in, it's not as fun for her, I'd say. I'd say Illot's got a great kick on her, so I'd say move forward, no, step in and clinch. she's hard to pin down. She's in and out, in and out, isn't she? Yeah, very light on her toes. Times the teep well. Ooh. Nice to off-balance her opponents and strike. Good kick. Nice. Walks into a punch there, though. Trondowski threw a lovely right hand, though. Starting to enjoy it in there as well now, um, Trondowski. She looks more comfortable in there now. Yeah. Starting to find a zone. Moves her head nicely, but drops her hand when she does it. It's almost like a boxing evasion. She's got to. The kicks of Villa are good, aren't they? Yeah, it just makes me nervous when people do that. <laughs> Most definitely, yeah. She's struggling with that range, though. Yeah. Ooh, nice knees, though. There you go, look. Good position on the clinch there. Both girls. Big load of blood coming from the nose of Illot now. Yeah. Boy, she's eating some of those hands, look. I wonder if that'll spur on Drondowski. Push kick to the leg. Last Good. few seconds. Kick up to the body and gets dumped. But I think she's done well this round, Drondowski. She's hit Certainly. with some big shots as well.
this one's going to be interesting on the judges' scorecards, actually. Some of the rounds were started off well from Illa and then finished well from Drondowski. As Illa just tipped that balance with that fight with those good kicks and that ring craft. Ladies and gentlemen, after five awesome rounds of Muay Thai action, your ringside judges have reached the unanimous decision. So I tear for your winner in the white corner, Phoebe Ila. There you have it, the kicks. And the white tear for that, that one off, Lara Drondowski. Yeah, no shame in that performance for Drondowski. She struggled with that range. Struggled to pin her down, but she grew as that fight went on, I thought. All accolades go to Bobby Yella. And uh, Michael Tech can be very pleased with that. Seems like she's fought to instruction. She looks like a well schooled girl, right? Thank you.